If there's one thing that Animal Crossing New Horizons wants you to do, it's craft. Craft, craft, and craft some more, decorating both your home and the entire island town in the process. But you can only craft what you know, and you start out with the bare minimum of crafting recipes. So let's run through all the ways you can get even more DIY recipes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. First and foremost, you should always be aiming to get recipe books from Timmy and Tommy, as you can get a bunch of recipes that are useful in various kinds of decorations. Be sure to get the DIY for beginners, test your DIY skills, and finally the Wildest Dreams DIY recipe books. They'll all include items you'll eventually need to help furnish your homes for incoming villagers, and nice mini DIY workshops that you can put in your own home to easily craft your own interior decorations. And speaking of furnishing homes, you'll want to progress Tom Nook's task to where he needs you to help welcome three incoming villagers as he'll give you a ton of recipes to do the job which include items made from fruit and flowers native to your island. Some recipes aren't always taught from a card, they're learned by finding certain items. Digging up clams can teach you how to make bait and talking to a villager after you get stung may result in a free medicine recipe. You can also learn certain recipes from fishing up trash which may ease the sting of not reeling in that super rare fish. Always be sure to wander your beaches each day to find a message bottle as these will always contain a DIY recipe for you to add to your collection. You should always check in on your villagers when you notice they're at home, and many times you'll find them busy crafting their own items, and by talking to them they'll happily share the recipe for whatever they're working on. You can usually find one or more villagers doing this, so check back a few times every day. Once you've unlocked the campsite in your town, visiting villagers will also likely ask for a souvenir of something made from your town. If they ask for an item you can't make yet, they'll happily supply you with the recipe. This also means you can force a villager to appear each day using amiibo cards to make sure you're getting another shot at a new recipe each day. Though it's not always guaranteed, keeping a lookout for balloon presents is a great way to get more DIY recipes. They seem to blow in from the sea every 15 minutes or so and can contain a random item, and even if you don't get a new recipe, you can still get something nice. Just by standing on either left or right side of the island, you can hear the balloons coming in by the loud whistling noise that accompanies them. Remember that these daily tasks can also apply to visiting a friend's island or even a mystery island, so comb those beaches and talk to your friend's villagers whenever you get a chance. And speaking of friends, why not encourage them to trade duplicate recipes they've found with you? Everyone loves a good yard sale. Finally, be on the lookout for seasonal or special events, as they'll often come with their own set of recipes that you can gain at an increased rate. Sometimes Tom Nook or Isabel will pass on a recipe or two during their daily announcements, and some events will even include increased chances to earn recipes, like Bunny Day's torrent of fast-moving balloon presents. And that's how to gain more DIY recipes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can also check out how to get more villagers in our town, or how to get rid of the annoying ones. There's plenty more on our wiki guide, and for everything else, stick with IGN.